not what we were hoping for. That's one of the kittens that we were trying to catch. She had kittens in here, three of them. But watch when I open the door up, she'll run. And out she went. And boy. That looks like a boy. That's a boy. That's actually a pretty colored one. And that looks like a boy. All boys. Imagine that. But, yep. This one's cool looking because it's gray. I've not ever seen a gray and white. Well, they just are starting to get their eyes open. That means they're about two weeks old. About. I don't see anything else. My husband was going to start the truck up, but then noticed that they were in here. And, uh, well, she's underneath the truck somewhere. She'll come back over here. I kind of wondered where she went. You know. <laughs> I got my husband's needle nose pliers. He got Father's Day. No, these aren't them. These are the other ones. He's, he and these are old ones that he had. But I'm gonna use these to cut my wire up here for my. I'll show you what I'm doing. Oh, that thing keeps falling over. My flowers fell out of it. I'm just like, I'm about tired of dealing with it. I was very happy and that I got to be able to get some of these in there. And then they keep falling out, you know, kind of what happens. Okay, let me show you what I got going on. So I got this. I put three little nails in it on this side. Hold it down for me. And then I'm going to try to cut up along this. Like this. And then I want to try to put another piece of wire inside this and somehow get it so it's nice and tight in there so then I can take bait I can take these boxes and take them over to the door make sure all babies are still alive take out dead ones if there's any dead ones and just check up on them is my plan so I'm gonna get this cut good morning everybody don't broke my nail off Got my glass of water in here. And I'm gonna heat up for one minute and then put my um, my DE in here. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, Dimitation Earth, I think is what it's called. <laughs> I'll turn you around. So yeah, we've been taking this now for over a week, and um, it does help, you know, with joints and muscles and rebuild cartilage, um, regulates your intestines, takes out parasites, so if you've got worms or something, it's going to kill all those and you'll flush them out. So I'm going to take you guys this away and um, get me a spoon.
So one teaspoon is what I use. I'm not sure if my husband is doing now two teaspoons. He likes to do it cold. I'd like it more warm because I think it it dissolves better. Better eat all my bananas up before they go bad on me. So I gotta put this in a jar or something. I gotta switch hands because I'm not a lefty. I can use my left hand, but I'm not a lefty, I'm a righty. Oh, of course, oh, see all my beautiful. <laughs> They're turning. I gotta get actually these right here all cut up and froze. That red one's almost done, and then these two, I'm not sure these four smaller ones i'm not sure if they're going to get right before they get too soft so let's do this and i'll show you guys how i do it so just grab a a teaspoon about like that and then i put it in here and then we just stir I really like you gotta stir for just a few minutes because you will have some excess at the bottom when you're drinking it and there'll be a little bit left now we do this daily just for regular maintenance but you can do two teaspoons for I think three days straight as a detox but this makes you pee a lot and it um, makes you dehydrate too so you got to drink a lot of water when you do this because it will dehydrate you but it it flushes all the water out of your system too if you have an overload of like retaining water so I just down it and I'm gonna show you guys That was a little warmer and then it always makes me burp there is a little bit of a little bit of sudy stuff down at the bottom but I just rinse it out to go for my morning now so I usually now that I've been taking this I'll get my boots on go out let the chickens out check the boys make sure they have feed first then let the chickens out go look at the rabbits check all the animals and then do my day so I'm going to take you guys along ducky's there and I got my Nesting box that needs to be finished. I just need to get me a staple gun and staple all that really good. This box, I'm not sure how I want to do it. Um, I've got that, but I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. We have leaves galore everybody yeah. Oops. 
because they're going to say, you got to be careful walking down this because we got these uh, roots from that big maple. Boys, you still got your grain in there, I see. Yeah, you still got some grain. You guys want some just on the ground? You just want some on the ground? This is a scratch. Sometimes that's all they want. Just some stuff to scratch with. So three, that's enough. They're good. All right. Let's run or walk, not run. I can vis visibly see the horses. So I know that they are good. I just watered everybody yesterday. And today is November 7th. Usually, I swing by here just to see. Cats have cat food. My husband normally feeds them in the morning. But sometimes, just sometimes, they eat it all. Again, by the time I'm out here. And it is just a little after 8 in the morning. I could see Jill up there. What you doing, pretty girl? I did not put her up last night because she didn't want to go up. So I thought, okay, stay out then. She gets her choice to do that if she wants to stay out. Don't you, girl? Yeah? Mango! 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 My mom has got three dozen eggs for me to try to hatch for us and her. Mango! What you doing, pretty girl? Huh? You gonna tell us a story? How was your night? Did anything happen? Is that right? Oh, goodness. Did you scare them away? How'd you do it? Like that? Is that right? <laughs> She's a character. Alright, chickies. Come on. Come out. Come out. It goes like I'm going in because I'm hungry. Yeah. You guys still have some stuff on the ground I can see. I'm not going to throw anything out to you. What are you doing trying to get me stuff on you or something there, girl? And I can just scrounge off what's on the... Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> what's off the ground? another day this phone is being glitchy she says how dare you touch me I'm just happy to be out Around they go. This is how everybody got flew out. <laughs> chickens. Silly chickens. These hens, I tell you. Try to be more dominant than the other. All right, my broody hen is still sitting on those four eggs instead of five because she did kick one out, I said. <coughs> and then, um, 
we will go from there. But yep, horses look good. Jill, I'm going to have to feed her. I know she still had some left from yesterday. But I really tried to force her to eat it. I know the goats are finishing up their bale. Because I took the feeder off of it over the weekend. So they were out there. What in the heck happened? Oh, he got out somehow. That's not good. What are you doing? Holy crap. Stop. He's got the whole fence tore up. I don't even know how I can get him back in there. I wonder how the heck he got out. And it's all because of Odessa. I don't even know how I could get him back in there, to be honest with you. He had to have jumped out. I'm going to have to get some grain, probably. Hold on. Well, he's back in there. I had to take two scoops of grain, throw one in the pen, and then lure him so the boys weren't at the door and bam bam so I could get him in there. I still don't know. He had to have jumped the fence. He jumped out somehow. But now these girls think they need grain and they're not getting any. So they're going to be loud. Hello Darius. What you doing pretty boy? Okay. Have you got water? Or you got some of your... You got some of your hair in there girly girl. Come on. You gotta move. Come on. There you go. Let me get your, put this on here for me so I can find out what. You pulled a bunch of your hair out, but it's wet. Yeah. She, I put a rock in there so she'd stop throwing it over. I'm going to get her a little bit of hay. Just to kind of distract her a little bit. I can pull her babies over here just to check everybody. And I try to pet her a lot too so she knows that I'm not going to hurt her. Put this over here. Oh, come on. I'm not sure what that is on there. But I just want to check the babies. Oh, come on. There's something. It's catching it in there. You can feel the heat. Okay, we're going to check everybody here. Just make sure. Everyone is alive. She's doing a great job. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Still eight. She had them up here yesterday, but I see she moved them. Which is fine. She's actually a very good mama. Now, the late the breeder that I got her from with her mama said that. Remember, I said that he had got loose when she got loose, or 24 hours after she got loose. My buck got loose, and then she caught him, but couldn't catch her. And then 
um, her Dutch buck got loose, and that's what those babies look like, are Dutch. So, um, I'm assuming she still has a little bit. And then my, my boy right here is eating. Let's see, how's your guys' feed? Getting low, isn't it, boy? Yeah. I almost need fed again. Get his down in there too. I could probably feed everybody tomorrow. Okay, he needs water. I just need tip offs. Um, water. She's got a little. She's got a little. And she's got a little. She's still doing good on her green. Doing good. She's eating more out of this one than she is that one. But that's okay. And this mama. Trying to get her, her feed down in there. Like that. She's got hers right there. Hers look good. I only see one that really would probably need any grain. She's got a lot of hay in there. But we will get them watered. So now I gotta carry these two back inside. And then everybody looks good for now. I do check them two or three times a day now that I, you know, I can't <clears throat> do the computer work because it just, it hurts my eyes. I mean, my husband can see every day that I, I do a lot of squinting and I was standing, he went to work out last night and I was standing in front of the TV because we got a TV in our room, obviously, and our bed is a four poster bed, so it's a queen size, so it's not huge or nothing, but our room isn't that, you know, isn't that great big. So the TV is probably about another 10 feet or so, maybe a little further away from where we would be sitting on the bed at the head post. So I was down by the foot post of it, standing in front of the TV and my husband walks in and he's like, what are you doing standing here, beautiful? I said, cause I'm trying to read that. And he's like, you can't read that? And I was like, no. And I said, I can't, I can't see what this is, and it would be like the title of all the videos. I can't see that from where I sit. It's, it's blurry. And he just put his hand on my face and rubbed my face with this sad look on it. Like he, he didn't realize that I couldn't see very well, um, even from that distance. My vision, I have a lot of floaters, which, I mean, the eye doctor that I went to see, the specialist said I don't have no inflammation in the eye, but it sure does seem like I do. I have to go actually see him sometime this month. I can't remember when. Sometime this month. So I gotta get these filled. My mom said she found some rabbit cages that were sitting on the side of the road for free. So I'm going to text her, find out if uh, they were still there because she said she'd pick them up today if they were. I don't know what sizes they are or anything, but I do need some more. But my, hu my husband gave me some money so I could go and get the stuff I needed to finish building my box, get some new wood if I needed it. I need to get a couple salt blocks. I'm going to pay for another dough. Um, I'm going to pick her up actually today and um, go from there. There's a ladybug. That one don't look like it's a good one either. I don't want to kill them though, even if it's not the right ladybug. 
but we'll toss it back outside so it can be out there. <clears throat> So yeah, I'm going to get a hold of my mom and then probably head out. That water's hot. I turned the hot water on. I don't need it to. And then when I get back, I need to... I put the wrong lid on there too. I need to um, cut up my pepper plants. Do this little bit of dishes that I got here to do. Figure out what I'm fixing for dinner. So, we will feed everybody soon. So, I went, ran over to my mom, got three dozen of eggs, because a lot of her roosters are breeding with her chickens, and she said that they've got fertile spots in them. So, these right here, these eight, or banamese and my mom said that if these hatch those are the ones she wants she she said I could keep the rest and I said well, we'll just pick them through so I got them in and I got them dated for today is 11 7 and hopefully in just a couple of weeks 21 days we'll have some little baby chicks and we'll the lid on. got the lid on and like I said it's 11 a 7 so in 21 days 21 ish days we should be having baby chicks if there were any fertile in there. And then in about another week, I'm thinking the broody hen outside that's got the four eggs that she's got underneath that I brought from my mom's. I brought five, but she kicked one out. So she's got four underneath of her. Those should be hatching pretty soon too, within a week or so, if I calculated it right. But we're going to let this heat up, get to about 100 degrees. And then we're going to try to regulate it to that. I've got water in there for humidity. It's got, uh oh, I think it did. Where's my other red dot at? I don't need that open. Goodness sakes, where's it at? Oh no, I lost it. I'm like looking, and there it is. Okay, so I gotta put this back in there. Those you pull out once babies start hatching. The dog barks at absolutely nothing. Nobody's here. Shut up. You don't even know what you're barking at. Okay, so that is what I'm doing today. So we got a lot going on here on the farm. New Zealand dough. I have her in this because I don't have my big 36 by 30 cages built, but I do have the fencing. So this will build two. This is for the bottom and the sides to keep baby savers. And then I think that this side that I actually have her in is the side I'm going to do my feed outs in, which is a 30 by 24. So this side kit that's on here is actually for a 30-30, which will go on the new one here. And I'll have to buy a new 24 for this. And then um, I have to get this style for this pen so then I can get her put up on one of these sides and then her put up on the other side and stupid prince is out again my husband's on his way so he's going to help me put him away the sun's going down we're like four something I need to go get dinner started and we will see everybody tomorrow so till next time God bless <laughs>